Hi, here are 10 things to think about if you do your magic for TV. And I don't talk about magic especially made for TV. I talk about the magic you perform in normal situations, in a theater, for example, and what you have to think about if you do a TV version. So learn from my experience, learn from my mistakes, and just have fun with it. Always have some Vaseline with you. And no, it's not what you think. During a TV performance, your mouth can get very, very dry because of the air, because you're nervous. When I did Fool Us, I was thinking half of my act about how my lip is going to look like. You know, I felt looking like that. Horrible. A little hack, just put a tiny bit of Vaseline on your gum and on your teeth and nothing is gonna stick. How to act with a camera. My recommendation is do less. Because in a theater, your expressions might be much bigger, much stronger. On TV, because the camera can be right there, it's too much. It might look a little bit ridiculous, fake, exaggerated. Film yourself before and watch your expressions. It's very, very important. Trust the producer, at least if it's a producer like Michael Close for Fool Us. He will tell you when he sees your act during the rehearsals what to do. They told me to lift my chin a little bit higher for the camera, to change my angles just a little bit so it looks better for the camera. If it's a very, very experienced producer, he has very good advice for you. Keep control of your makeup. I had some TV shows where I looked horrible, like the doll Annabelle of this horror movie. In front of the mirror, it looked just fine, and the makeup girl was really nice and cool, and I didn't want to correct her. In the end, it's your face on TV. If you don't like it, say it. You have to feel comfortable, and don't put too much, because the camera is not very forgiving on that. So if you don't want to look like a clown, just control your makeup. To me, it happened once before I did a TV show that I didn't rehearse at all. So I had to put my own props on stage because the stagehands didn't know where to put it. Just be prepared. Everything can happen from a very long rehearsal to a very short one to no rehearsal at all. So make it as efficient as possible and just explain the people in a very clear, fast way how they can help you. And your rehearsal is going to be an easy thing to do. Sometimes it might be very, very slippery. It happened to me once. It happened to me again when I did Fool Us. When I was walking out, you don't see it in the video, I slipped with my heels because the ground is very, very shiny and kind of slippery. So always touch the ground before so you know what you're up to. Control your breath. Of course, during the act, but there are many situations when you do a TV show where afterwards you have to give a little interview and you don't want to go like... <gasps> One word in Turkish. Bir elin nesi var, iki elin sesi var. Breathing like that, it's normal because you're very nervous, but as soon as you finish your performance, take a deep, deep breath to just relax a little bit because then you will have enough breath to speak with the interviewer. Don't care about the audience reactions. Because when you do a TV show, you do it for the people at home. Even if there's a live audience, and of course you play with them, take more care about the camera. Don't get distracted also if the audience is not reacting the way you're used to. Anyway, they might add some sound effects, some audience reactions afterwards. The only thing that matters is that you're performing for the audience at home. If a trick didn't go the way you want to, just repeat it. It was very, very embarrassing once in uh, Turkey, I did a TV show, and my head decapitation just, just didn't look right, it didn't feel right. 
and I had to do it three times. <sighs> And I could see that the audience was getting a bit tired and a bit irritated, which was a very, you know, awkward situation. But in the end, for the video, it was much better. So don't be afraid to ask to repeat. Try to give as much advice to the producers for the post-production. Even if they film your act with 10, 15 cameras, the main thing that makes your act look good is the post-production. I unfortunately didn't have always a good experience with my act because it's very difficult to film. It's perfect in theaters. For TV, nah, it's really difficult. Just tell the producer, don't stay long in one position, change the angle. At least you have a chance of a little control if you talk to the producer about the post-production, so please learn from my mistakes. Sometimes you have to wait a long, long time before you're going on stage and shoot the video. To me, it happened quite a few times that I was all, you know, I was pumped up and full of adrenaline, and then I had to wait longer and longer, and keeping myself in this kind of tension takes a lot of energy away. And if you're on a certain level all the time, you won't have enough energy for your act. So keep up your energy when you're waiting, but don't use too much.